In this video, I'll show you how to add a WooCommerce category filter to your website in just a few simple steps. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, so the first step is to head over to WooSuite.com and go ahead and download the WooCommerce product table plugin. I'll leave the link in the description below. Once you've done so, let's head back over to our dashboard. Okay, so here we are on our test site. And here you can see we're on our shop page here and we've got the option to filter by a particular category. And as you can see, the filtering happening instantly. So as we change the categories, we can see the products displaying instantly. And this is powered by our WooCommerce product table. So currently I'm using a list view. You can also use a grid view and customize the layout as you see fit. In this video, we'll just be showing you how to add this category filter here. Okay, so let's head over to our dashboard and let's see exactly how to set this up. Okay, so assuming you've installed and activated a plugin in which you've just downloaded, you'll see this WooSuite menu here. In your case, you'll go ahead and activate your key, go to add on and install this product table here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and click on product table. So the second step is to actually go ahead and create a new product table. So you just click add new table here. Since I've already created one beforehand, I'm just going to go ahead and edit this table here. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and give this a meaningful name. So when we looking at the general settings page, we can see exactly which product table is doing what. So I'm just going to name this one um, shop page category filter. And where it says a quick order form page, we'll just leave this as blank for now and then we'll navigate to form information. So this is where you go ahead and customize the different um, information in which you want to show on your product table. So in my case, I'm showing an image and then we've got an inner column here showing um, a few different information. So to add, so these are the available columns to add them to our product table. We just go ahead and drag and drop them and then we can just drag and drop it to rearrange it as well. So if you wanted that classic um, table layout, you'll just go ahead and add your product name, product image, maybe you wanna add the reviews, um, the stock status, and any other custom um, data in which you wanna show as well. But for now, I'm gonna keep mine simple. So I'm just gonna X these off. And in here, all, we, all we're displaying is the image, and then we've got our inner column, which is our nested table. So if we view our shop page again, so here you can see the image and this is the data from our inner column. So in our inner column, we're displaying the product name and the short description, the price and the add to cart button. Okay, so if I click on the edit icon here, these are the dif different list of options in which you can add to your inner column. And it's separated by a comma when you add in multiple um, different columns. So for example, I'm adding the name, the SKU code, most of my products don't have a SKU code, that's why it's not showing up. And I'm showing a short description, price, and then the add to cart button. Then you just go ahead and click update and then just X this off. Next, we'll navigate to image size and then I'm going to customize the width and the height. This is in pixel as well. So 250 pixel width by 250 pixel height. Okay, for these options, I'm just going to leave them blank for now. And then I'm going to navigate to form controls. Okay, and then here where it says product condition, here you've got the option to only display certain products on this product table. So in my case, I've just created one condition, which I've set the stock status to in stock, meaning we'll only be displaying products on our shop page, which are in stock. So it's just a more user friendly experience for our users. Okay, and then this is the important part where it says product filters. I'm going to go ahead and select custom. Yep, select custom and then we'll see this extra box here. And then if you click on this option, you'll see a full list of the different options that you can actually choose from. So in our case, since we want to display that um, filter by categories, so here I've just added categories. And if you wanted, you can just add categories and it will show um, the option to filter by categories. But I took it a step further. I've added the option for users to filter by categories, by tags, by attributes, meaning um, if it's a variable product, for example, a t-shirt with a size and a color attribute, the user can filter by size, filter by color. And then I've also added this um, sale filter as well. So they can filter the product table by items which are on sale. Okay, and then I'm just gonna leave everything blank. In fact, I'm gonna enable this reset button here. So when a user makes a selection, they can just quickly um, reset it as well. Then we'll navigate to form design here. So 
in this example I've disabled our table heading this is optional you can leave it enable if you want and then I've also enabled our custom CSS and I've just added um, a few CSS styling okay so in a blog post as well I'll link to the blog post um, accompanying this video you'll be able to get the CSS the same CSS um, settings as we've got here okay so we just hit save changes the third step is to just navigate back to our general settings area and in here where it says shop page we can go ahead and specify the product tabling which we just created to serve as our default um, shop page okay so here you'll see a list of all the different product tables that you've created in our case um, ours is this shop page category filter this is the product table in which we just created this one here and you can set it for your default category and tags page as well if you want and then once you've done that just go ahead and hit save changes and that's it now when we view our store page we'll see our default product table here and this is the, that new reset filter in which we just enabled okay so we can quickly filter by category and we can see the result filtering instantly so with e-commerce as you know like every second counts so to have a option like this where a user can quickly um, filter down the products by um, categories and different filters instantly it's a game changer so they can just quickly um, add the products to cart and continue browsing and that's how you add a category filter in woocommerce in just a few simple steps if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe for more videos like this and if you've got any questions leave it in the comment box below or reach out to support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible